Here's everything you need to know from browser sources in OBS. What is it? And how do you use them? But before I'm gonna dive into it, first I wanna thank our sponsor, Owned.pro. On Owned.pro, you can get your own overlays. There are so many choices, look at them. Like this one. And if you download the Owned.pro plugin, you can install them with only one click in OBS. Changing your stream into a good looking one is just like magic now. If you purchase the one year subscription, you'll get 50% off by using code Tree. Link is down below in the description. So what's the browser source? So if we go here to OBS and we go to sources, we click on plus, we see browser source. So a browser source can basically be any page on the internet. If we click on browser source here, we have to give it a name first. So I'm just gonna call it test for now and click on okay. You can see that this thing appeared. This is just some information. You just added a browser source. Browser sources let you display a web page from the internet or a local file and are commonly used for widgets and alerts. Set the URL to the page you like to be displayed. So like I said, you can have a page on the internet, but you can also use it as a local file. If you do that, you click on local file here and you can browse to a local file. For example, this YouTube image. And if we click on that, remove this and click on okay, you can see that it displayed. It doesn't seem to be displaying the transparency. I would not recommend doing it for an image like this as you can also use image or media source, which work better for an image. So we're going back to the properties. If you make a mistake, you can always right click and go to properties. Let's not pick a local file. So I'm gonna remove this one, local file, and we can paste the URL here. So for example, if you want Twitch alerts or YouTube alerts, you can have a bot like stream elements and have an alert source in here. So you can put the link in here. You can put this on 1920 times 1080 to make it full screen, but we can also put just any page in there. So for example, we can put our YouTube page in there. We just copy this page URL, go here and paste it here. There's some more settings here, which is the width and the height. You want that on 1920 times 1080. We can remove this custom CSS. This is if you can code, you can put things in here, but I can't code, so I leave that empty. Then you can use a custom frame rate, for example, 30 or 60 FPS, and you can control the audio via OBS. This is important, for example, if you have alerts or if you want to play a YouTube video, then the audio will come separately in the audio mixer here, which can be really handy if you want to put it like louder or less loud. So we're gonna click that. And here we have shutdown source when not visible. So if you have a page on the internet, it doesn't really matter, but it does matter sometimes if you hear alerts or something go off. Refresh browser when scene becomes active. So if you hide it, basically what it's gonna do is gonna reload the page. If you have trouble with your alerts or something like that not picking up, click this, then make your source unvisible and visible, and then it reloads the page. Then if we go even further, page permissions, read access to OBS status information, no access to OBS, so this way it cannot interact with OBS. Here we can just have some information, read access to user information, basic access to OBS, advanced access, or full access. Usually you do not need this and you can just leave it on read access to OBS. Here you can refresh the page and then we can click on okay. As you see, the YouTube page has loaded. However, we can't really do anything with it. If we right click and click on interact, this extra window will pop up and we actually interact with the page. You can see it moving here when I go over it. So if I click on accept, you can see things here change and I can actually pass things. You cannot do this in this screen, in this preview of OBS, but only in this thing that popped up. So if we go to a video now and I click on a video, you can see that my video starts playing and you can see it starts playing here too. We don't hear it right now because I'm not re recording this audio, but you can see that in OBS here in test, because this is how we call the browser source test, we can see that this starts playing and we can have it less loud or louder. Okay, so we have this playing now, but we don't hear it ourselves. We only let it go to the stream. So to fix this, we right click and go to advanced properties. Now we have here monitor off. This means that you do not hear it in your headphones. If you click on this and put it on monitor only, I'm gonna mute it for a sec because I'm gonna get a little bit crazy if I hear it. <laughs> I can't talk to myself, but now I hear it and the stream doesn't hear it. However, if you record your headphones 
like your desktop audio, your stream does hear it too. If you do not record your desktop audio, what you need to do is put it on monitor and output. This way the stream and you hear it in your headphones. So this is what browser sources are and how you can use them in OBS. There's so much more that you can learn about OBS. For example, how to make an image live show for sponsors or for social media or many other things. I explain it all in this playlist. So I'll see you there.